Hey, what's going on guys? This is Greg with Idea Trading Ideas. And as you can see, we have Electra Mechanica up on the screen. This is their website. We're gonna be doing a stock review of this company today. Ticker symbol, S-O-L-O. -O. And as you can see, we have the investors relation tabs right here. And this is like my favorite tab when you're going onto a website because this is gonna take you to another page and it's gonna give you all the stuff that you need overview news and events company info stock data analyst coverage sec filing sec filings is what you need to actually be clicking on to find out as much in information as possible because this is what they're actually giving to the sec and what they're saying hey this is going on this is what's going on with the company right so financial reports so on and so forth so just go through those tabs find out as much information as possible when dealing with with these different stocks right latest news latest events we can kind of scroll down latest financial resorts q1 q1 2021 earnings release so on and so forth latest annual filings view filings you can sign up today for email alerts and they'll kind of give you an update of what's going on with the company right so hey if you're really interested in solo go through get the email alerts we have stock information right here at the bottom obviously it's on the nasdaq solo is the ticker symbol ladies at 427 and the volume was at 3.2 million right you show you a 52 week low and high is a dollar 78 up to 13 dollars and 60 cent and then we have the days low and high which is 426 to 446 right and the change was 12 cent or negative 2.73 percent what are we gonna do the question isn't what are we going to do, the question is what aren't we going to do. We'll go on to our Robinhood portfolio and as you can see, we have a current portfolio value of $10,156.67. And what we're gonna do is just go ahead and type in Solo, right? We're gonna do that and as you can see, Solo is going for $440 right now, down $0.12 cent for the day or negative 2.73% and after hours is up another $0.13 cent or positive. 3.04 percent we're gonna go through the charts really quick one week chart says that we're up five cent or positive 1.15 percent one month chart says that we're up a dollar six cent or positive 31.54 percent three month chart says that we're up nine cent or positive 2.05 percent one year chart says that we're up two dollars and 47 cent or positive 127.98 percent and the five-year chart says that we're down one dollar and ninety-five cent, or negative thirty point seven one percent. Oh, you fellas have nothing to worry about. I'm a professional. Right. So what we're gonna do is scroll on over to our E-Trade account, and we have Solo right here. Analyst price targets. Average price target is seven dollars and fifty cent. A seventy-five point six four percent upside. The high is seventy. $7.50 and right now the low is going to be $7.50 as well, well right so they they haven't really gave a low for this particular stock right so that means it hasn't really been updated so we're going to read over this in the last three months one rank analyst set 12 month price targets for solo the average price amongst the analyst is $7.50 analysts compare the price targets to the current market price of the stock to determine how much potential upside or downside movement there could be in the stock price right so as you can see this is right around that 750 right around close to that eight dollar range and then as we scroll down we see the different analysts that have given their price targets right so the last one that was given was right around march or actually most of these guys gave their their price targets in march 750 seven dollars 1225 and back in december 2020 this guy gave a nine dollar price target right so this also shows their um, analyst average returns on solo, negative 1%, negative 840, negative 780, and negative 3290, right? And then their success rate. You can go through and read their articles, find out a little bit more information about what that analysts were saying. And what we're gonna do is push for into our Yahoo Finance. Obviously we have all the information right here. They're giving you previous close, open bid, ask, days range, 52 week range, the volume, and then average volume but what we care about right now is the fair value right so they're saying that they believe it's overvalued and then we go to chart events bearish pattern detected on the macd and then short term two weeks to nine two weeks to six weeks down midterm six weeks to nine months up and long term nine months down so they believe hey in the long term is going to be going down right 
as we scroll through we have all our third party press releases remember what i tell you you can click on these and find out the same information that you can get from just going to the actual website going over here to the side we have earnings right the consensus for the eps showing you that it missed 2020 quarter 2 2020 quarter 3 2020 and quarter 4 2020 quarter 1 2021 and they beat um, analyst expectations. Then we have financials, annual and quarterly, revenue and earnings. Scrolling down, we have recommendation trends, right? And different colors and what they mean. And then we recommendation ratings, right? So right now they give it a 1.6, right between a strong buy and a buy, right? Going down to analyst price targets, they have five. And they're saying, hey, currently it's valued at 427. Low is $7 and high is 12 24 right and they said the average price is 8.95 so it's really low right now and so basically what they're saying is a good time to possibly get in whole and wait for that price to go up we have upgrades and downgrades and there hasn't really been any change since march 24th 2021 with that we're going to move forward into our trading view platform i know it oh! and as you can see like always we have overview ideas technicals financial and index components Right here on August 30th, they, they have an upcoming earnings report and they have a negative EPS of 0.57, right? Negative 0.57. Market cap is 482 million and they have no dividend yield. So they're not paying out any dividends for anybody. So as we click on our ideas tab, you can see right here, they have quite a few ideas. They have top authors. So if you can follow those guys to kind of get out um, what information they're going to be talking about when it comes to solo. So we have one day chart solo. This person is long scrolling down. We have another one. 30, uh, 30 minute chart, that person is long, came out June 22nd. One week chart, which is what I like to do uh, from June 3rd, that person is long. So majority of everybody that's on here that's talking about solo is saying that, hey, they're going long. What we're gonna do is go back up here to the top, just click right here and find out exactly what this person is talking about, right? So they're showing you downtrend wedge breakout plus small consolidation, WR crossed at negative 80. And then they're showing you the entry at $4.30. The stop is going to be at $3.60 and the target is going to be $10. So they believe that, hey, Solo is going to be going to $10. As we scroll up, you can kind of see exactly what they're saying. So they entry, entered it at $4.30 and they believe, hey, it's going to go down for a little bit, maybe consolidate, and they believe that it's going to shoot up around here. Now, going back to our e-trade account you can see that the professionals are saying that hey at the high they believe it may go to 750 so this person saying that it it possibly may go to um ten dollars to me is a is a bit much but we do know that it has reached 13 dollars and some change over the past year so it's a possibility that long term it could so um this person may just be holding on to their shares for uh, the long term right so once it goes up to that seven dollar range of possibility we may see it drop back down a little bit and then push on for it to that $10 range. It's really just up to you and how long you want to hold the shares and, and what you believe the company could do. Bueller. 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 So what we're going to do is click on the X, get out of that, scroll up, click on trade now, which is going to bring you to this screen. This is my weekly chart. And as you can see, I like to actually mock up what's going on, right? So my red lines, all my red lines are going to be my resistance lines. My blue lines are going to be my support lines. And I have everything set up for 52 week highs and lows, right? So as we go over here and take a look at our 2017 resistance line, we can see that it's at $16.05. And then we have a 2017 low of about $3.81, right? So at the very lowest, it looks like the electromechanical was right around 89 cent. And that was around the 2020 um, range. And in 2019, maybe 90 cent, yeah, maybe $1.17 and in 2018, maybe 90 cent, right? That was the lowest, right? So we have different different um, resistant line areas as well. 681, 1054, 1360, so on and so forth, right? So going into 2021, right? The highest has been so far in 2021 is right around that $9.76 range, right around that range right here, right? It's the highest has been in 2021. So what if we saw, if you got in around that high, then you're probably gonna be negative. Hopefully you had got out or did something to kind of help yourself out, average down or whatever, because the lowest it's been so far is right around that $3.81 range. So what do I feel could possibly happen? Well, we're gonna blow it up just a little bit and move it up. 
I feel like, hey, it's a possibility. It could, it could go down, you know, reverse and go down right now and just hit this area, this blue line, which is going to be our 2017, our 2017 support line. So it could possibly drop down a little bit, hit that 2017 support and then start going up, reverse and go straight up. Right. So this little red line is going to be a temporary resistance. So it's a possibility it may hit that line kind of go sideways or consolidate before going through and going up to this point. But I feel like once it hits this point, which is right around that $5.91 range, it's going to reverse again, go down, hit that temporary um, resistance line. It's going to be acting as a support, and then we're going to see it jump up past that $6 range, on up close to the $7 range, or this resistance line, which is going to be our 2019 resistance, right? I feel like once we get there, we may see a little bit of pullback and then it possibly may go through that going into the price range that the analysts are talking about. If it doesn't go that way, it's a possibility that it could cut right through this 2017 support and drop down to this area, which is the short term support. Hit that area, go up, maybe possibly hit the 2017 support. It probably is going to act as a resistance and then it may reverse and go back down or possibly go right through it, cut back down shortly, and then reverse and go back up. Seeing the same hit at this small temporary resistance area, but it possibly it's possibly gonna go right through it, and then we'll see some type of pullback, and then they'll start shooting straight up. So really, I feel like it can go multiple ways when it comes to solo, but I don't, I just don't see it dropping all the way back down to this area uh, where we were in like the, 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 the midst of the pandemic and it was just so crazy out, you know? So right now I feel like this stock is going to go up and all the analysts are saying, Hey, it's going to be going up and so on and so forth. Hopefully this video brought some a light to um, solo and hopefully you guys understand, Hey, that remember I'm not a financial advisor i'm just giving you and telling you about ideas that i'm planning on doing with my money so um it's up to you guys to really sit down and do your analysis on a stock and make a decision on what you want to buy but anyway i hope you guys have a great day enjoy yourselves uh please like comment subscribe to the channel and remember is there anything i can do to help you when it comes to the trading hey just let me know leave a comment inside my box hey you guys have a great day it's over. Go home. Go.